the Christians say that Jesus peace be upon him is God because it is mentioned in the gospel of John chapter 10 verse 30 Jesus said that I and my father are one to understand this verse that I and my father are one we must read this verse in context and the context begins from verse 23 so let's start from the gospel of John chapter 10 verse 23 in verse 23 it is mentioned that Jesus was walking in the temple in the colonnade of Solomon verse 24 so the Jews gathered around him and said to him how long will you keep us in suspense if you are the Christ tell us plainly in verse 25 Jesus answered them I told you and you do not believe the works that I do in my father's name bear witness about me. Verse 26 But you do not believe because you are not part of my flock. Verse 27 My sheep hear my voice, I know them and they follow me. Verse 28 I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. In verse 29 my father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one is able to snatch them out of the father's hand verse 30 i and my father are one so it is very clear that one and what and their omniscience no and their omnipotence no and their nature no one and purpose that once a believer has accepted faith, the messenger sees to it that he remains in faith and the God Almighty also sees to it that he remains in faith. And this is the purpose of the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost and of every man and every woman of faith. Let the same John explain his difficulty in the Gospel of John chapter 17 from verse 21 to verse 23. That they all may be one. Just as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they may also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have said. The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one. In verse 23, I and them, and you and me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and loved them as you love me. If Jesus is one with God, and if that oneness makes him God, then the traitor Judas and the doubting Thomas and the Satanic Peter, plus the other nine who deserted him when he was most in need, will be gods. Will the Christians accept Jesus' peace be upon him along with his disciples as gods? Will they believe in the concept of 14 gods, in the Father, the Jesus, and the 12 disciples? Further, when you read in the Gospel of John chapter 10 from verse 31 to verse 26 In verse 31 Then the Jews again packed up stones to stone him In verse 32 Jesus answered them I have shown you many good works from the Father For which of them are you going to stone me? In verse 33 The Jews answered them it is not for a good work that we are going to stone you, but for the blasphemy, because you being a man, make, make yourself God. In verse 34, Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said you are gods. In verse 35, Jesus said that if he called them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be broken. In verse 36, Jesus said, Do you say of him whom the Father consecrated and sent into the world? You are blasphemy because I said, I am the Son of God. In verse 34, Jesus answered them, that Is it not written in your law? I said, You are God's. And Jesus, please be upon him, is obviously quoting from the Psalms, chapter number 82, verse number 6 that I have said you are gods and all of you are the children of the Most High. 
and Jesus continues in the next verse in verse 35, Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 35, that if he called them gods, meaning that if God Almighty called them gods, to whom the word of God came, mean the prophets of God, the messengers of God were called gods, gods with small g. And scripture cannot be broken. In other words, Jesus speaks upon his sin that he can't contradict me. Jesus knows his scripture. He speaks with authority and, and he reasons with the Jews that if the prophets of God, the messengers of God are being addressed as God in the Old Testament with which you find no fault, then why do you take me to exception? Hence the expression, I and my father are one, meaning nothing more than a common purpose.